very painful. We was crying a lot. Yeah, we was crying a lot, but uh, God help us. Thank God, you know. So, so our friends, three kids passed away. Our friend daughter passed away also. Oh I mean, yeah, unfortunately, you know. I, w I was in shock. I just literally just saw them in there. I, w I was in shock. I was so happy. I'm like speechless right now. What did you do? Did you hug them? Did you oh, yes. I, gra <laughs> I grabbed them. They're sitting down having some food right now. I grabbed them. Like my eyes couldn't believe it. How many people? It's crowded. Are in there? It's like at least hundreds of people in there. That's a big one. 19 floors. Right. And around like 10, 12 apartments per floor. So a lot of people are probably not going to have nowhere to stay tonight. Looking at those who are sitting there, majority of them are West Africans from Gambia. So, which means that if that is the reflection of those who perish, I would say, you know, the majority of them, I would not be surprised to know that they're from Gambia, West Africa. We were just inside with um, most of the families that just uh, experienced this whole tragedy. Oh my God. So I spoke to two family members that was telling me that how they survived and how they just stayed in their house and put down um, towels, wet towels. And one of the young ladies, she took out her air conditioner out of the room in order for air to flow through. Um, so we did a prayer visual together. Uh, we prayed for the families, for all church leaders. We all came together and we prayed together with the families and encouraged them.